So the TLDR is that this channel is going to be rebranding from one stuttering mind to combining minds, PKM, which is short for personal knowledge management. I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently and the one stuttering mind name came about a time in my life when I was really in a bad place. I was battling with anxiety. I was feeling constantly overwhelmed at work, you know, feeling lost as well. And I'm not saying that I don't feel some of those things anymore, but more and more so, I believe that these things can become self-limiting beliefs. One stuttering mind feels like I'm not doing the things that I want to do because I'm flitting around everywhere and, you know, can't decide what to do and always getting distracted. So I feel like it's time to leave that name behind me. One of the prompts for this was thinking about the content side. This channel has been predominantly LogSeq focused, although there are a couple of videos that look at other software or other paradigms. And recently I have done a couple of Tana comparisons. Now, I said that I would start another channel which looks at Tana, and I have actually done that, and it's called Combining Minds Tools and Tricks. But the thing there is that I want that just to be low effort, low barrier to entry, things that I can put out there into the world in the same way that I would for friends, because that's really how this channel started, but now it feels like there's pressure to deliver content at a higher level. So that's just one of the things that comes with the game, so that's fine, but I'll just publish raw content onto the other channel, and hopefully that is helpful to some people. I'll continue to publish some more refined, potentially, content over here, but it won't be only LogSeq focused anymore. It will more be in this area of personal knowledge management and personal productivity. And I've decided that I need to embrace that name of productivity because I've had resistance against it because, you know, we just feel like we're rats running in these wheels and not going anywhere. But nonetheless, I think that's my own personal connotations. And it really is important to be able to do the things that you want to do in the world. And that's what I'm trying to figure out for myself. For those who are wondering where does LogSeq fall in all of this? Well, I'm still using LogSeq on a daily basis. From a personal knowledge management perspective, I really think it's unbeatable. But when you're wanting to add a little bit more structure into your workflows, and there are lots of things that will benefit from that, then Tana really is a step above. I was also slightly worried that having a channel that's not one dimensionally focused would potentially detract away from the course revenue. And that is really what keeps me going these days. So I was a little bit tentative, but I've decided that now that I have a Tana course as well, which is detailed below, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I had one side comment, which to the effect of, I was just about to buy your course, can't resist that shiny new tool syndrome. Well, that's really not the case. I've been using LogSeq for three years and I've now been using Tana for a year. So I don't jump between things, but where I see that things match my requirements, I'm perfectly willing to go beyond what I know and learn new things. And I think that's also just something that keeps me motivated to carry on doing this. And in the other channel, I'm gonna show other random things like software that I use for some of my automation, software that I use on the back end, just to be able to point people in a direction that could be helpful for them. Because I have found that so many times, I just want to know what this other person does or how they configure this thing. And I wanna be able to share a little bit more of that in a raw format without the pressure of 10,000 people watching. I've also heard that channels with a single focus grow more but I've decided that that's actually not what I'm really interested in. Sure, the growth is good, it helps sustain this, but really I want to do something that feeds my soul and if I'm only going for growth and clicks and course sales, then that's not going to have a good outcome in the long run. And I was starting to feel a little bit tired, a little bit burnt out of just the LogSeq focus. So now I can pursue multiple different projects and multiple different avenues of interest and just do that in a bit more fluid way and keep it exciting for myself. So I always err on the cautious side of the sales cycle and the self-promotion and the marketing, but I've realized that I need to learn how to do that a little bit better as well. But at the same time, I wanna be consistent in how I present myself to the world and yeah, just put things out there that are a benefit. There will still be free content, but there are now also paid versions of all these things that just support me to carry on going. So what happens to one stuttering mind? Well, one stuttering mind is no longer. The website is still live, but it will have no more content added to it. The email addresses are all redirected to my new email address or my email address that I've been using for my business side of things. So yeah, one stuttering mind as a persona is now deprecated in a sense. 
I've changed my Twitter handle. It's now Dario DS underscore. The underscore is important because there are apparently many Dario De Silva's in the world. So just watch out there. And I've been moving content and migrating content and trying to make sure that all those links are up to date. It's a big process, still underway, but we're nearly there at the end of it. So in conclusion, this has actually been a long time coming. It's been something that I've been mulling over and it's been eating away at me a little bit. So hopefully I will be producing a bit more content going forward. It won't necessarily be on this channel. It might be on the Combining Minds Tools and Tricks channel. So have a look at that. It'll be linked below. And in keeping with the whole thing about not being focused on audience building, I think I have never said like, subscribe, do all those things. But if you wanted this to be a logseek focused, then I would unsubscribe now. Thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate the support. And it's been ticking along slowly now, but hopefully I'll be able to put a bit more energy into that now that I have some clarity and can shed the baggage of the one stuttering mind name.